I was doing a novel uh, of short stories called All That Remains and that had a lot of ethical vegan themes in it, all very hidden, it was allegorical. Uh, one illustration I did for that, I decided to do a portrait of Joan MacArthur, the um, animal rights photographer. I did it in 2014, the end of that year. I sent it to her and her reaction and the reaction of thousands of her supporters on social media was so intense, so uplifting. Uh, it seemed to affect so many people, the portrait of her that I did with all the animals that she'd saved um, around her. It changed my life overnight and I set my heart on becoming an animal rights artist. It was literally overnight. Recently I've done a lot of hard-hitting work looking at um, factory farming footage and photographs and basically when I find the worst, the most upsetting and the most hidden facts and images, the ones that would not be shown to people, the photographs and films that would not be shown, I choose those to paint because they are the last thing you would expect to see in an art gallery and therefore it is the thing that I want to bring into the light. Art is, is very personal, it's very quiet, There's no, there doesn't even have to, have to be any words get in the way of it, it can just be one single image, an image goes right through into your psyche and stays there. It doesn't matter how much you pretend it isn't in there or your friends, you, you don't tell your friends about it or you do or you try and laugh it off and that's all outside, inside that image is there and I think it goes straight to the heart mm -hmm. and affects hopefully affects you, affects one, very, very deeply. Well, unfortunately, with most of the recent ones, I hope that they are upset and disturbed and genuinely, they're so unpleasant, some of my pictures, that I don't want people to like them. They might appreciate the way they're painted. I just want them to take that full force of information, unspoken information, um, in side their brain and think I can't bear that picture therefore I can't really bear to behave this way anymore or to be part of the world that is so unkind and that it eats away at them until they change uh, for the better and they don't need to look at my pictures anymore which is a shame. I've had some dairy farmers who took against uh, my, my um, anti-dairy pictures um, they hadn't got a leg to stand on, they all come from um, f investigation footage and photographs, so they were all, unfortunately, they were all real. This painting is called Life Sentence, The Hidden Faces of Dairy, and it is uh, of the, the first animal rights painting I actually did using um, photographs from dairy days, um, open farm days, uh, it was taken, undercover footage was taken, and these are the actual faces of um, cows that were behind bars there. So the public work there, there was no pretense about it, it was all um, behind the scenes and as you can see they were distressed and they were, it just makes a mockery of any type of um, humane or ethical treatment of the animal and all I did was collate a lot of images into one, I didn't want to make it up, this is the impression you would get of visiting or being able to visit behind the scenes of, a, of an auction, a cattle auction or a, a, a dairy day where farmers get together and buy um, exchange cattle and so on. This, this really is um, a portrait of despair. It set me on my course uh, for choosing to do all farming um, animals. After the dairy, I did pigs and then I did uh, chickens and then I have moved on to sea life and um, currently on to abattoirs. There's sadly no end to it. I've just had people that were upset, uh, nice people, but they were terribly upset by some of the pig farming paintings and my reaction to them was that that is perfectly understandable, it's reasonable, it shows they're human, they've got a conscience and um, it, it's, I'm sorry to see they're upset but it is not a bad thing um, because they've taken that image to heart and uh, they're already changed by it, I, I need to try and affect the people who, they just don't know, they just don't know but the minute they do I have great faith that people will change because people do not want to be intrinsically unkind and positive with this. In the vegan art movement we are all um, concerned with helping uh, and helping people and animals and the environment. There's literally no downside to this um, but there also, as far as I can see, generally no ego is involved in it. It's not a normal thing to be part of. There isn't an ego because we're it is all for the greater good. I may be very naive in saying this, but that's the way it feels. We're all connected up together and um, 
we're all on the same side, which is, uh, you don't get that very often in life. Darling, I'll please.